for me, the pre's in the red range, they're giving me the focus and the clarity that I'm looking for in my mixes. And then when I'm stacking them up, I'm not getting like low muddiness. They're just working for me. And the musicians have remarked on the clarity in their ears. Um, Steve plays organ bass and they've got the solidness in their ears, which before the, the organ bass is always a bit, you know, wobbly, wavy, no definition. I didn't manage to do that before I got the, um, the focus rights, is really the kind of the truthful answer. And it's just, it's, it's a lovely sonic flavour, which I like. And, I mean, Steve must like because, you know, he hasn't told me to change the pre on his vocals, so, you know. The Red 8 Pre, when that one was um, launched, that really became to make sense to me as a unit to kind of add in to the rest of the systems I have because I've got one up in the the live room in the Big Dutch Barn production and then I have one in the control room. Um, just what's crammed into the box is having the Dante and having the analog in and out plus the eight mic pre's and all the routing capabilities. So it sort of becomes like your monitor controller I mean, backbone to your kind of your rooms. So I've got one which runs down here, which basically kind of looks after, you know, all the equipment I've got in this room. But then the great thing of having the, the Dante option is then it makes all of this available in my other room as well. So if I want to stick my Procrasti reverb on, on a vocal, just for tracking up there, then I can just literally log into those Dante channels and pick it up off the analog side. Up on the live racks, that's the one which goes out on the road. We actually use that for the in-ear mixes. You've got software monitoring, you can see what's going on. You've got multiple routing options if things change. And it's just a great, an, another great sounding unit. Has really given Steve a kind of great, you know, comfort blanket for performing because it's all so precise when he sits behind his organ and starts playing he knows exactly what's going on we know exactly what's going on if the dbs are off somewhere we can you know troubleshoot the issue straight away and you know for performers you just really want to stick them in a kind of somewhere where they're happy comfortable and feel and then they can perform and you know that's really what we're after, and that's what these are providing. If that gear helps you get that performance with no dropouts, nothing going wrong, and the performer comfortable, then it's a keeper.